When we think about Egypt, most of us think of its incredible history, the pyramids, the pharaohs that ruled them, as well as the impressive advancements in math, astrology, and engineering that built one of the most sophisticated civilizations to have ever existed. But what about the dark side of Egypt? Yesterday and today, what have experts found that truly freaked them out? Are we talking aliens, real-life monsters, or just profoundly terrifying answers to complicated questions that have left us baffled for centuries? The truth is out there. Here are 15 mysterious discoveries in Egypt that scare scientists. The Lost City the recent discovery of an estimated 3,000-year-old city thought long lost to the harsh Egyptian climate is being held as one of the most important archaeological findings since King Tutankhamun's tomb. Egyptologists announced the discovery of the lost golden city near Luxor and said the find was the most significant ancient city ever uncovered in Egypt. Known as Aten, the city holds many answers to the secret lives of ancient pharaohs. The city is estimated to have been constructed around the reign of Amenhotep III, one of Egypt's most powerful and well-known pharaohs. He ruled from 1391 to 1353 BC. He would have been the first pharaoh to utilize the city for whatever it was constructed. The dig revealed many valuable finds, including jewelry, colored pottery, amulets, and bricks bearing the seal of Amenhotep III. Months after the excavation began, more and more of the city turned up, at just seven months, they unearthed a bakery, administrative district, and residential area. The archaeologist team said much more work is to be done, but the revelations pouring in have already been excellent. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of the dead, is represented by the figure of a man with the head of a jackal or canine. In the early dynastic period and the Old Kingdom, he enjoyed a preeminent position as Lord of the Dead. However, unofficial titles included Lord of the Sacred Land, Foremost of the Westerners, and the He Who Is the Place of Embalming. You get the idea. It's no wonder this god might look a little scary. One of the roles of Anubis was at the Guardian of the Scales, the critical scene depicting the weighing of the heart that determined whether the person was worthy of entering the realm of the dead. Freaky stuff. But do you think this is what we're looking at here? Is this the god Anubis? Its depictions of the god from various sources show that, yes, the jackal head is prominent, but Anubis was also a great dresser in Egypt's finest attire with jewelry and a golden scepter. But this looks like the creation of a comic strip version of the villain, with blood red eyes and huge claws. And we can only hope that scientists are not encountering this on their excavations. What would you do if you came face to face with this nightmarish mythical creature? In the comments below, let us know and use the hashtag sweet topic. A creepy necropolis, a vast burial ground sits in what was once Memphis, the capital of ancient Egypt. The UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to more than a dozen pyramids, including the oldest of the bunch, the Pyramid of Djoser. The archaeological necropolis has yielded thousands of artifacts over decades of work. Among the most significant finds from the dig was a mummy identified as a queen who died around 4,200 years ago. Her tomb was discovered at a site behind the Pyramid of King Teddy, the first pharaoh of the sixth dynasty of Egypt's Old Kingdom. This era reigned between 2680 and 2180 BC and quickly became known as the Age of the Pyramids. Researchers claim the discoveries could shed new light on the city of Saqqara during the New Kingdom. Egypt also hopes the slew of new discoveries in recent times will spur tourism back to the country. It was severely hurt the past few years economically. In a country that relies so heavily on tourism, you can imagine how eager they are to get everything back up and running, with a few surprises for those who make the trip. The Secret Pyramid Saqqara City was built in the 27th century BC, during the Third Dynasty. There's tons of history buried there. The six-tiered structure of the city is the earliest known attempt of what they eventually became known for throughout the ages, their pyramids. A recent discovery changes that and shows that the city was much more complex and sophisticated than they first surmised. While exploring a new site, archaeologists happened upon a buried sphinx. Excited at the notion that they could have stumbled onto something great, they kept digging. To their surprise, they found another sphinx buried in another. This was much more than some tomb. 
This was a complex web of tunnels revealing all manner of underground connections. They were all connected to the city on top of the surface. Hundreds of miles were carved into the rock and they all led to the most significant discovery of all, an underground palace. It was confirmed this wasn't some buried city but a palace for the dead. The most oversized coffin was constructed of solid granite and weighed over 90 tons. The most oversized coffin was constructed of solid granite and weighed over 90 tons. The question that plagues the experts' minds is who or what in the world would you ever bury in such an elegant manner? When they find you, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Egyptian Stonehenge Nabta Playa is an extraordinary ancient Egyptian site comprised of hundreds of prehistoric megalithic structures. Located in the Nubian Desert, it's truly in the middle of nowhere. The Egyptian Stonehenge, as experts refer to it, is the remnants of an advanced, remote community that existed approximately 11,000 years ago. The assembly of stones they left behind had been labeled the oldest known astronomical alignments of megaliths globally. That's to say they were incredibly sophisticated with astronomy. Some archaeologists even believe that the people of Nabta Playa were the precursor civilization for the first Nile cities that arose in Egypt thousands of years later and held more astronomical information than we do today. These people were the ancients to the ancient Egyptians. It's indeed hard to fathom such a long time ago, yet their constructions have stood the test of time and continue to do so. They've defied all odds of construction, infrastructure, and knowledge. Just how intelligent were these ancients? If only we had a time machine. Although Nabta Playa currently lies within an unforgiving desert, it was not always this way. Scientists have determined that around 10,000 BC, a violent climatic change occurred over North Africa that changed the face of the landscape to this day. It could also be why the people migrated toward the Nile and thus started what would become the great ancient Egypt. <laughs> Police baboons. According to Egyptian hieroglyphs, they were training baboons to catch criminals. They had no reason to lie, they were quite possibly the first historians ever. As you may know, the ancient Egyptians worshipped many animals. One of these was the baboon. In Egyptian mythology, the beasts are best known for their association with Thoth, the god of wisdom. In addition to their mythical role in history, baboons also held a genuine position in society. Like the modern canine unit, Researchers suspect ancient Egyptian police officers to have utilized baboons to catch thieves. They would unleash them on the thieves if caught, at least according to the hieroglyphs that recount their story. These ancient people were famously known to have kept pets and even mummified remains of these creatures once they passed. Hundreds of mummified cats and dogs have been revealed throughout history. The primate has a unique role in Egyptian culture. It's often depicted as participating in various human activities like dancing, playing musical instruments, picking fruit, making alcohol, and catching evil men. Whether this is just another myth written on pyramid walls or a peephole into ancient Egyptian reality, it sure is fascinating. The Screaming Mummy A recent cache of ancient Egyptian discoveries held one mummy of particular interest. Dubbed the Screaming Mummy for apparent reasons, Egyptologists were curious how and why this particular mummy was frozen in death with such a horrified look on her face. Typically, during the process of mummification, they avoid making such expressions. Recent studies utilizing CT scans and DNA testing identified the screaming mummy as the corpse of Prince Pentawir, the son of King Ramses III, who was forced to commit suicide. It was a punishment for his involvement in patricide and regicide of King Ramses III. This tale is known today as the harem plot. The murderous son was further punished by what ancient Egyptians considered the worst of all deaths, not being mummified. His body was wrapped with sheepskin, which indicates that he was considered dirty and unfit for the afterlife. His soul was destined to hell in the afterlife. Other mummies wrapped in white linen and carefully mummified were admitted into heaven. The look of horror on his slightly less preserved face indeed tells a tale of horror. Giant Finger The mysterious images of a giant finger, which was said to measure 38 centimeters long, have left researchers baffled. As per their findings, it's impossible to be a finger. To help determine the identity of the finger, scientists ran x-rays and lab tests to confirm it was organic, and it indeed was. So what in the world could this be? 
Maybe it's not of this world? Researchers from Egypt believe it belonged to a creature that stood over 10 feet in height. According to ancient myth and religion, ancient mighty humans walked the earth. They bore children and spread across the land. As they continued to spread, the divine saw there was great evil in man's heart and struck them down to size, quite literally. These ancient humans are said to be of a different human species and were the ancestors to these giants. The so-called Nephilim In one religious recanting, Moses sent a group of scouts to the land ahead, and when they returned, falsified the truth of the lands beyond to avoid the horrors they just witnessed. They said to Moses, the land through which we have just gone and spying it out is a land that devours its inhabitants. And of all the people we saw there are men of great size. There also we saw the Nephilim, and we became like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. Humans of great size have been recorded many times throughout human history, and myth is only the beginning of such tales. Whales with Legs Scientists in Egypt have identified a new species of four-legged whale. This fossil was first discovered in Egypt's western desert. Its skull resembles that of the Egyptian god Anubis, and they found it in Egypt, so the name made sense. The ancient Egyptian jackal-headed god of the dead really comes to mind when you look at this beast. Thought to be the ancestors of modern whales, evolved from deer-like mammals that lived on the land for millions of years. This thing was massive. They estimate it weighed over 600 kilograms and over 10 feet in length. The whale could both walk on land and swim in water, making it one intimidating beast. Imagine one of these emerging from the ocean and strolling up on your beach lounging for the day. It used its powerful jaw for hunting, but it probably used its weight when it really had to, against a more ferocious predator, for example. <laughs> Moving the mummies For something as old as a mummy is, you do your best when you move them and you try to move them actually as little as possible. Not precisely feasible when they're being shipped around the globe to museums and exhibits, but hey, you might imagine the process of doing so to be painstakingly difficult and you'd be right. Egyptians witnessed a historical procession of their country's ancient rulers through the capital, Cairo, recently. The extravagant multi-million dollar show saw 22 mummies, 18 kings and four queens hauled from the Egyptian museum to their new home located three miles away. With a security force the size of a small army, arrangements benefiting the ancients and direct descendants of those still living there are extensive. They're held as national treasures after all they were relocated to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. The parade itself was called the Pharaoh's Golden Parade, and golden it was. Golden sarcophaguses, treasures, jewelry, you name it. The mummies were traveled with what they were buried with as the ancients wanted it all those thousands of years ago. They were transported in chronological order of their reigns, an incredible history stretching all the way back to the 12th century BC. Not many places around the world can claim such history. Ancient Zoo Again, the ancient Egyptians were a brilliant and civilized society for the time. You'd be astounded to know all the similarities between modern society and ancient Egypt at its peak. Entertainment was something they began to cherish, and the exploration of what could be entertaining began. You already know the ancient worshipped animals, so a zoo with all kinds of creatures would make perfect sense. That's what they did, and so formed the world's first known zoo. Experts had discovered the vast plot of land and strange spaced burials some time ago, but only recently put two and two together. Egyptologists knew the site was of great importance, but they couldn't figure out for what. Among the mummified animals buried there, they found seven baboons, a hippo, a wildcat, and more they couldn't identify. So they began digging some time later and found even more bodies of animals. It dates back 6,000 years and researchers are still turning up mummified remains of elephants and hyena. A real life Atlantis. It was barely more than a whisper. Appearing in a few rare inscriptions in ancient texts, the city of Thonis Herakleion remained hidden away for thousands of years, submerged deep under the sea, where people weren't even looking. Thanks to a handful of people over generations who for years screened the vast landscape of Abu Kurbay, just off the coast of Egypt. 
French archaeologist Franck Godio and his team saw the colossal face emerge from the shadows, but it wouldn't be the last. He had achieved his lifelong dream and that of so many before him. He had reached the fabled city of Thonis Herakleion, but it wasn't in the expected vast desert of Africa. Nope, it was submerged beneath six and a half kilometers of water around Alexandria's coast. Among the incredible find of the city, there were 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure hoard of gold, detailed statues standing over 16 feet tall, and most notably, the remains of a massive temple to the god Amun Gareb. Though it may not be Atlantis itself, this fabled city was an equivalent. The ruins and artifacts were carved from granite. They've been remarkably preserved. Experts say this may be the closest peak in what the world and society was like over 3,000 years ago. The city was said to control all trade flow into Egypt. <laughs> Khufu's Mysterious Void The pyramids sure hold a ton of secrets. To this day, archaeologists are turning up new secrets in areas that have been poured over, scoured, and studied for hundreds of years. That's a testament to Egypt's vast knowledge and tendency to keep secrets. Of all places, the mysterious void was discovered in the Pyramid of Giza, arguably the most well-known of all the pyramids. Thousands of years later, the Great Pyramid of Giza continues to captivate the imagination and curiosity of humans around the globe, and we're far from done. Thanks to advances in particle physics, scientists were able to learn of a massive void hidden within. Also called Khufu's Pyramid, or Egypt's Great Pyramid, it was erected around 2500 BC and is the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Thanks to what experts call cosmic ray collisions, they're making new breakthroughs possible where it was never even a consideration in times past. Using technology to their advantage, an international team of researchers from the app named Scan Pyramids Project 3D mapped a 100-foot-long chasm. Though they know the chasm exists, no human hands or eyes have seen the contents of it since it was sealed all those thousands of years ago. As you might imagine, quite a few people are dying to crack the shell open and see what lies within. Could it be the mythical Nephilim? Another treasure hoard? Only time will tell. The Curse of the Pharaoh If there's anything ancient Egypt is infamous for, it's curses. Open a king's tomb and be cursed for life. The same goes for a protected treasure hoard. It's inspired movies, novels, you name it. But how true does the whole curse thing ring? In 1922, British archaeologist Howard Carter unveiled the tomb of the Pharaoh Tutankhamun, who passed around 1300 BC at the age of 18. This was an important discovery because up until this point, all mummies and tombs that had been discovered were plundered by thieves thousands of years ago. I.e., Carter was the first modern man to open a sarcophagus for hundreds if not thousands of years. Whatever happened to those thieves all those years ago was lost to the sands of time. The fifth Earl of Carnarvon, an amateur Egyptologist financing the project, joined Carter upon entering the burial chambers. There they discovered the young pharaoh's mummified body and a wealth of religious objects that included wall paintings, inscriptions, as well as the equipment he would need for the afterlife. The world was enthralled in the discovery. Soon, stories started emerging about a curse to anyone who dared break a pharaoh's tomb. He died shortly after. To say the speculation wildfire has been lit is an understatement. More deaths a few years later, and all members of Carter's team who opened it even solidified the curse. The Silver Pharaoh The tomb of Pharaoh Susens I, ruler of the 21st dynasty from 1036 to 989 BCE, is undoubtedly one of the most underrated discoveries in Egypt. The kings and pharaohs surrounded themselves with treasures, mostly fashioned from gold upon death. Don't think of this as a motive of greed per se, but more because the closer a pharaoh was to the proximity of gold would ensure his safe transfer into the afterlife, where he could use it if he needed to. Silver in ancient Egypt was representative of the moon. However, silver was rare. That's why finding the royal burial chamber, which contained a silver sarcophagus, was so shocking for Egyptologists. The idea was indeed the same, but was rarely utilized thanks to its scarcity. He must have been one heck of a pharaoh to achieve the honor of getting decked out in a rare resource like silver. It's hard to think of now since gold is so much more valuable than silver nowadays. Abu Simbel Temple 
The temples of Abu Simbel are a massive attraction in Egypt, and rightfully so. The ancient site has long brought many tourists into the country to see its spectacle. Constructed by King Ramses II, the temples of Abu Simbel are arguably the most notable in the country, and that includes the pyramids. The Sun Temple, located just off the banks of the Nile River, was estimated to be constructed around 1250 BC and is carved directly into the gorgeous sandstone cliffs. The 65-foot seated Ramses is the entryway into this mystical temple. Within are two tombs, one for Ramses and the second for its queen Nefertiti. It's hard not to be enthralled with all the knowledge and mystery that lies with ancient Egypt. This point in history marks the beginning of many traits of the modern world. The fact that so many questions have yet to be answered only adds more complexity. Who were these ancient humans? How the heck did they know so much just to keep so many secrets? Are they the first descendants of the rumored Nephilim humans? Too many questions, not enough lifetimes to answer them all. Some even may be lost forever to the sands of time. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.